Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So somehow integrate this. Um, in, in the previous video, we've seen these four. Um, you might not need all four in order to integrate this, but, but when it comes to tan, try to train yourself to know these by heart. Okay, try and train yourself to know these by heart. But anyway, somehow integrate this. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, it, whenever you want to integrate tan squared of x, try to think about this. Because well, if you put this into here, um, you, you see this, you, you can integrate this separately and integrate this separately. Well, this thing here is easy to integrate because if you look at tan of x, if you differentiate it, it will give you secant squared. So here you've got secant squared here. So if you want to integrate secant squared, it's really the, if you integrate secant squared, it will give you tan, tan of x. And this thing here is easy to integrate, it would just be x. So whenever you want to integrate tan squared of x, try to think about, uh, try to think about this. Well, anyway, put this into here, and then this whole thing here will then become this. Will then, uh, will then, will then become this. And then, uh, so, so when, when you, when you look at this, um, this is easy to integrate because, uh, well, it, Earlier we we said that this is easy to integrate. So so if this is easy to integrate and th this is easy to differentiate, then you should have a hunch that you should use integration by parts. So um, so from here from here um, use integration by parts. So let's use integration by parts on this. So integration by parts. Let this be u, and then let this thing here be v prime. Uh, v prime. V prime here. So if if u equals x, then uh, then then u prime equals one. If v prime equals uh, equals uh, equals this thing here, then integrate it. It will give you this thing here. So now blindly follow uh, follow this formula here. It's saying get u times v. It's saying get u times v. So that would be x uh, tan x minus x, and then minus here minus the integral of it's saying get u prime times v it's saying get u prime times v so that then become uh, tan x minus x uh, dx so this thing here is slightly easier to integrate than than uh, than what we had earlier okay so so this whole thing here will then become this will then become will then become will then become this Okay, so so now you uh, now, now we can integrate this separately and then integrate this separately. So this thing here is this, and this thing here is this. So so consider uh, consider doing it separately. So now um, now to 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 integrate well this thing is easy to integrate. It, it just becomes this thing here. Um, tan tan of x is actually easy to integrate because whenever you think of tan of x, think of it as being like this. Uh, tan of x is this thing here. Uh, cos of x, and uh, and and this thing here is is almost exact derivative of this thing here. So it's really the case of of uh, of the numerator being almost exact derivative of the uh, of the denominator. So you, so to integrate something like this, it should be natural log of the absolute value of u. Because if if I were to give you how how would you differentiate this? How would you differentiate this? Well, if you differentiate this complicated bubble here, it would be one over the bubble. And then times the derivative of the bubble itself. So this thing here gets multiplied to the top, giving you a uh, bubble prime over bubble here. So whenever you see this thing here, then you should think to integrate it. It will take you think about the natural log. Uh, here, tan is really this thing here is really sine. Uh, sorry, it's really cos. Uh, th this this thing here is uh, is really uh, cos of x. And then up here you you've got uh, You've got sine of x, but then there's a minus somewhere in in here. So you you make the adjustment. Well, anyway, we've seen this in the previous video. Uh, integrate uh, integrate this. It will then give you this. Okay. So uh, so now um, now merge merge these two together, and this here is your final answer. Okay. Um, and and uh, but by the way, well, if you look at this, uh, if you look at this, when you when you integrate this, it gives you minus um, natural log absolute uh, uh, cos of x prime. Uh, sorry, uh, absolute 
Uh, th th this th uh, another way of writing this would be would be like this. Uh, how another way of writing this would be like this: natural log absolute uh, cos of x to the power of of um, the well, one to the power of minus one. Uh, because um, because when when you when you if you, if given this if given this. If given this, when you when you natural log the whole thing, then you can move the minus out here. Well, here you've got a here you've got a minus out here. So so you're really going working the other way and pushing it back into here. So so sometimes it's written not like this, but this thing here is actually uh, natural log of one over cos uh, of x, and then this thing here is really the secant of x. So sometimes it's written as this: c uh, secant or of x, but it means the same thing. Uh, just just bear that in mind. But uh, your overall answer is this. But sometimes instead of uh, instead of course here, you, you might have a secant here. Uh, just just bear that in mind. Okay. But but for uh, but the overall answer here is this. Okay.